Marty, I'm telling you this right now. You better be thankful that I'm not able to get my hands on you. Because I'm telling you right now. If I had even the slightest chance to get my hands on you, I would probably kill you. And I say that because if I got my hands on you, I don't know if I would be able to stop myself from killing you. Because of everything that you've done to me. All the hatred that you spilled out upon me. All the pain and suffering that you brought upon me, my friends, my family. Like I said, I understand that I did shit to you that was wrong in the past. And I've told you several times that I'm sorry for that, man. But that does not give you the right to bully me. That does not give you that right. You should have been the bigger man and walked the fuck away. But you couldn't do that, could you? You had to seek revenge. Why? I don't understand. You know, my entire life I was bullied. My entire life growing up I was bullied. Because I was the short kid. I was the weakling. I was the one that everybody could push around. Even in high school I was the kid that everyone bullied and picked on. I was the outcast kid that no one liked. That very few actually hung out with. Yes, I had a few friends that I was close to, that I'm still close to with to this day. But to the popular kids, I was the weird kid. I was the weird kid that would sit in the library and read a manga, read a comic book, go on the computer and watch anime until lunch was over. I was that weird kid that worked out in the gym once in a while, in the weight room. Until finally one day when a kid pushed me too far and I snapped and I hurt him. And I ended up getting suspended. And Marty, the way that you pushed me all these years by isolating me, by trying to make me look like a pedophile, by trying to have me killed two separate occasions, by assaulting me, By showing up to my house uninvited. And you wonder why I make death threats towards you. It's not because I want to. It's because I want you to stay away from me and leave me the fuck alone. I want you and William and Edward Boy and all your little friends. Like Styled Moth. And Jay Sins. And all your little friends to leave me the fuck alone. But you can't do it, can you? That'd be too easy for you, wouldn't it? You don't understand the pain that you put me through. Do you know how many times outside of live streams that I've thought about taking my own life because of you? Do you know how many times I've woken up depressed, wanting to end it all, just so I can escape what you've done to me? Do you know how many times I've made videos in secret, saying goodbye to my family, thinking that I was going to take my own life? All to have one of my friends call me and stop me at the last minute.
You know, Nick, the reason why Saren left you is quite simple. It really is. She left you because you're a bully. She hates what you do. I mean, first you sit there and you bully me relentlessly. Then you sit there and keep her held captive in your home. You hold her hostage in your apartment to the point where she has to fucking lie just to leave. Marty, you are an evil, narcissistic monster. That's exactly what you are. Understands why you can't just leave me alone and move on with your life. I don't understand why you, William, Edward, boy, stop off, and all your little friends can't just fuck off and leave me alone. Why can't you let me live my life in fucking peace? You don't understand the pain that you cause. The people you hurt. I'm telling you right now, Marty. If I ever got my hands on you, I don't know if I would stop hurting you until you were dead. If I got my hands on you, I'm afraid that I wouldn't stop. I'm not joking when I say that. I probably would not stop until you were dead. That's how much I hate you. That's how badly I want you gone. You know, Marty, you sit there and you talk a lot of shit about me, but you're the one that made me this way. You took away everything from me. My career. Three of my friends. Turned my own dad against me. Made it to where I can't get a regular job. Tried to have me murdered on two separate occasions. Showed up to my house uninvited. And you wonder why I want to hurt you so bad. You wonder why I want to kill you so bad, Nick. You don't understand what you do to people and how it affects them. 
It's either that or you do know and you just don't give a fuck. I mean, come on, Nick. You're responsible for three deaths. Two prostitutes and a good friend of mine. One of your exes. But yet, here you sit, a free man, when you should be rotting in prison. I don't understand it, Nick. Why can't you just fuck off and leave me alone? Why? I don't understand. All the bad shit you've done. And you know what's sad? Is your family's even worse. Your parents are just as bad. And why are they just as bad? Because instead of turning you in to the police, Like they should do. They continue to help you. Which makes them just as guilty. Like I said, Nick, all I want is my old life back. And I want you and William and Edward Boy and all your little friends to leave my life. Get out of my life and don't come back. I never wanted you in my life and I never will want you guys in my life. I want every one of you gone and to leave me and my friends and my family and what I do alone. I want you guys to leave the internet. I want you guys off of social media and I will not fucking stop until you guys are off of the internet. I will not stop. I have made it my sole purpose in life and my sole mission to make sure that you guys get banned from the internet permanently. Because people like you don't deserve to be on the internet. People like you deserve to be rotting in a jail cell. People like you and William and Edward Boy and all your friends, every one of you deserves to rot in a jail cell. For the rest of your miserable fucking lives. So that you can't hurt anyone ever again. But like I told you tonight, that process starts first thing this morning. That process starts first thing this fucking morning. Because I will not stand by and be bullied by you guys anymore, Nick. And you, Edward Boy, anyone. As of this morning, I am beginning the process of taking my life back that you guys stole from me all those years ago. I'm taking my life back and I'm not going to let you get in the fucking way of that. You changed me for the worst. Now I'm going to work on changing myself back. I don't want to be this person that you made me into. I don't want that for myself. I want to do better and I want to be better. I want to be my old self again. 
not what you made me be. Like I said, Nick, I know I'm not perfect. I know I've made mistakes, but my mistakes can be forgiven. But yet you choose not to. You choose not to forgive. You choose revenge, hatred, disgust, anger, over forgiveness and leaving me alone. Because you're so filled with greed that you can't see past your own fucking ego. But that's okay because of as of 8 o'clock this morning, like I said, the journey to me taking my life back begins. And like I said, I will not stop nor will I rest until you Edward boy, William, and all your friends that have bullied me all these years are gone off of social media for good. Because you guys are a terrorist cult. You guys are cyber bullies. And I will not stand for it anymore. So to Marty, Edward boy, William, Styled Moth, Jay Sims, and all y'all's little friends, I say this. Fuck you. I'm taking my life back. And there's nothing any of you can do to stop me this time.